What's going on, everyone? It's RGB here again. Hope you're all having a great day today. And after a long time, we got another new update of the official GameHub emulator, based on the new version 5.2.1 build, focusing more on Steam optimization services, added family sharing support, cloud saves, and a lot of other improvements. They have made some changes in the PC emulator, enhanced game visuals, they are now supporting more regions and players, and made bug fixes in this update. Not a very big update, everything will be almost the same as before, like the drivers and everything we've seen on version 5. And the phone right now here is the Poco F6, powered by the Snapdragon 8S Gen 3, with the Adreno 735 GPU, a quite well-balanced good GPU. And the phone comes with 12 gigs of RAM. So here I have already updated this emulator to the latest build version, and you can see here, this time the UI feels a bit more enhanced with themes, and it's smooth. Also, a lot of you are asking about the light version, like are both of these emulators the same? And yes, both are based on the same firmware version. The only difference with light is they have removed all of these junk stuff and bloatware to make it lighter, focusing more on offline PC emulation. Whereas in this version, you can do both online and offline with a lot of these inbuilt services. And if we go to game settings, here everything will be the same as usual, like we set up. And in compatibility, they added sync cloud configuration, which means you can sync all these settings and presets for the game whenever you reinstall. And in this video, I'm gonna test the Assassin's Creed Rogue. Here I'll also enable ultimate mode for better performance. And here I'm gonna test this time on different settings. Here I'll enable both HDR and super resolution for better detail quality. And here everything is set to normal low preset at 540p. And there we go. Never compromise the Assassin Brotherhood. These are the tenets of the creed. The principles I used to live by. Now I'm going to test this on 1080p very high max settings, so V-Sync is disabled, and everything is set to high. And this time, we are only getting like constant 30 FPS and very stable, and the phone is also heating a bit. You can also see the power usage, holy sh**, it's going up like 15 to 17 watts. That's crazy. The GPU usage is in the 90s. The quality looks really great, the details and everything look amazing on this resolution. again. Anyways, that's it for today's video, guys. And do, let me know in the comments what do you want me to test next, and don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful. Also, subscribe for more. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.